All right. After the uh, the what I considered was a failure with the uh, Prometheus pellets, I was in Bangor working the other day, and I went in uh, Gwyneth Firearms in the High Street. But you like the last time I went in there, they weren't very friendly. But there's a young pair of lads in there now, and they were very friendly and very helpful. You know, um, it's quite a nice experience doing a bit of shopping there. It hasn't always been like that, I know, but it, it seems different now. But I, saw, I, I nearly bought some of these off eBay the other week for like twelve quid or thirteen quid or something to test them out. There's four hundred in the box, and they're for spring and gas ram air rifles. So they're like air bullets, they're like synthetic pellets. So. There's no plastic on them, so I'm not going to swap me battle up, I don't think. Um, I got these from Gwyneth Firearms for a fire, funny enough. So that, that's less than 50% of what they're charging for them on eBay. So I snapped a box up just as an experiment. I got a, I got a tin of uh, RWS as well. But I just snapped these up just to have a try of them. So I'm going to try them now. Um, I haven't even opened them yet, they're still closed, still sealed. But I'm, I'm going to be using the same rifle I used last time. The HW95 Firearm Custom 2-2 with silencer. And uh, you probably won't be able to see it unless I zoom in, but down there at the bottom of the garden. Set out like a 5 litre container of water. A uh, Guinness can full of water. And there's a half full aerosol down there. It's going to annihilate while I'm in on my own. Um, just a quick test, see what these are like. So I'll be shooting from here, from inside the house, because of the usual sort of like neighbour problems. It's a downrange there. So if I'll focus, there they are open. That's what they look like, they're one piece there. So it's a three quarters solid through the pellet, through the body of the pellet with the skirt. Like a slightly serrated scares on the rear and a raised head. Yeah, they're supposed to be 5.6, but we'll see. German barrels can be a little bit fussy, but we'll see when we get down to the shoot in a minute. Uh, the camera is set up about eight feet from the bottles and cans, and uh, I've zoomed it in so you can see the sort of impact shots if there are any. I've zeroed the rifle in with RWS Super H point, so they will blob on at this range from the kitchen table to here, which is 20 yards, so we'll see how this goes now.
move. I didn't mess there with a single shot. Um, he penetrated all the way through the, as you can see from the crowns on the side of there, he penetrated all the way through that reasonably thick metal former room spray can. Um, as all pellets do, made extremely short work of the Guinness can. All pop cans and drink cans are just foil really, aren't they? So it's made very, very short work of them. That's that's usually the water shot when it's full of water. The impact bursts it due to the pressure inside. And the five litre container was full of water. There's pellets in the bottom of that there, you can see them. But basically a zeroed with the RWS Super 8 points in. The, uh, it stayed on blob, which it doesn't usually when you change to a synthetic pellet. The lock time was fast as well, I could have sense. I took the last two shots at this piece of slate here, you can see there. I took the last two shots at the corner of that piece of slate there to see if it break it. It wouldn't, but it has left impact marks. So I reckon that like for for small game or in a hypothetical zombie scenario, they'd be quite good. Bit of a find that. Shooting from the same range with the same pellets and the same gun. Uh, this is a piece of hardwood just wedged against the fence there. I'm going to try it with that to look for a bit of, of an indication of penetration. So I've moved the camera closer to it, but the shooting will be done from the same range and from the same place. <coughs> Right, not exactly pellet on pellet, but I was just rough shooting there just to uh, to give an idea of the pellet. I don't really see how deep they've gone in, but they've gone in quite deep. I can't see the, I can only see the arse end of one pellet there. I'll be able to see it better once I do the video, but that's five shots, 20 yards into a piece of hardwood. Yeah, so I'm quite impressed with that. Um, you can see the pattern where it, where it will focus on it in this light, but you can see the the inside of the pallet skirt there and the head there. They're a good part of the non uh, lead stanum Diablo pallets they've used, of the custom style alternative pallets they've used. I think these have looked like they've got to be about the best. Um, I'd certainly be confident hunting small game with them, 25 30 yards. It stays on zero front when you've zeroed with other pellets, which is good, a good sign, because sometimes lead diablo pellets don't keep theirs, your, your rifle won't keep it zero from pellet to pellet, so. Um, quite pleased with that. Quite impressed. I yeah, will get more of these to put away with me preps. So that's what they are, they're a dynamic 
SN2 air bullets 400 to a box like I say I got these for a fiver for gas ram and spring piston rifles only and um, they're made by Prometheus who should just stick to making these and not the plastic Sabbath type ones you know hope you can read that and see it clearly my camera isn't very good you know so but they come in a box like it, it, it looks like a, a matchbox like a cardboard box it's very very sturdy actually um inside the, the packed in a sealed bag like this so there's no i've been through a few of them you know there's no damage to any of them and stuff they, they're quite strong they're hard to squeeze flat with your fingers you know to misshape with your fingers you can see there the solid like three quarters of the way through I don't know what they're made of, something zinky I think, but they are good. They're good weight as well. They're um, so like 12.85 grams, which is like comparable with most sorts of like non-magnum lead pellets. In 2-2, two -two, you know, it's a good weight. Try them in the wind next time you see what like in the wind, but I'd be confident, I wouldn't be confident with the, with the Prometheus pellets, the plastic skated pellets, the Sabbath type ones, I wouldn't be confident hunting with them, I wouldn't be confident of getting a kill every time, and you've got to have a, get a kill every time with an air rifle, you've got to, you've got to have it, the kill's got to be on, or well, you can't do it, you've got to hurt the animal, it's going to get away from you, and die horribly somewhere, so you can't have that. Um, I'd be confident hunting with these if I had to hunt for food, and I think that they'd be quite effective in, uh, in other regards as well, you know. So there they are, Dynamic Air Bullets SN2. Recommended, get some. I'll let you know I'll get on with them uh, in the field. Thanks for watching.